Hey, what's up, Tubers? This is Superdale, and today we got some updates on Android, right? A few months ago, we actually heard that Android was going to sit back and stop us from sideloading third-party apps or unverified apps from the Google Play Store. Um, they were going to stop that from being um, installed on any device running Google TV and or Android TV OS. That includes the NVIDIA Shield. That includes like some Miku's um, devices. This this includes the on boxes from Walmart. You can you can put all of that in the play. TiVo stream 4K, Chromecast with Google TV, all of that um, into play. So we just recently got an update from ATV News, and let's read the article. A few months ago, it says Google revealed that it will soon no longer allow apps to be siloed on Android devices unless the app developer verifies their identity with Google. And again, Android TV, Google TV, okay? Any device that's running that. Um, after some harsh feedback from the community, Google has now announced that is that it is easing up on those upcoming restrictions by allowing experienced users the option to bypass the new limits and silo any app they want. So when they're talking experience, they're talking about someone like you and I, possibly people who actually know how to sideload, jailbreak, however you want to call it install application third-party applications that you probably can't find in the google play store um onto your device okay um it also says google says we are building a new advanced flow that allows experienced users to accept the risk of installing software that isn't verified it has not revealed specifically what the new flow will entail but it will include um clearing it, it will include it, but it will include clear warning and likely require multiple steps. Android's ecosystem president, Samir Samad, says that users will opt in to install verify apps, which can mean it is a process that only needs to happen once per device. So if you got four devices in your home, you should be able to. Uh, Go to each device and opt in, okay? When the restrictions were first announced, Google did say it would still be able to um, install any silo app um, verified through ADB. All right, this update announcement should mean that on devices sideloading without, uh, it should mean that on devices sideloading um would ADB such as through my downloader app? So you would be able to sideload apps using downloader, using you know the cloud, using your flash drive. Basically, however you install your third-party apps, you would be able to do it. Um, and, and that's just you know that's just what it is. So to sum it up, guys, what they're probably going to do, they're probably going to have some some. You know, when you go into developer's option or something like that, there will be, whenever you try to sideload an unverified app, a third-party app, it probably going to give us a notification saying, hey, this is a third-party app, um, and installing this device will put your device, installing this app will put this your device at risk. That's pretty much what it's going to say. Um by turning this on, you're, you're accepting responsibility that if anything happened to this device, it is on you, all right? That's basically how they're going to cover it, um, in my opinion. I think this is good news for all cord cutters and people who love um, Android devices. And again, this includes Android TV operating system and Google TV operating system. 
which are both the same. It's just that one is a little bit older and the other skin just give you a refresher look. Uh, but they both do the same exact thing. I would like to hear from you. What do you think? Is this good news for the community uh, or do you not care? I think it's good news because I think they listen to the community and there were a lot of videos, including some like mine that I presented, even on my live show that says, hey, if they do this, because Amazon already did it, right? Amazon did it. They went to these select devices and all this craziness. And so they're using the Vega um, operating system, which is ran on Linux. And if they would have followed the same path by restricting third-party applications on Android devices, which are open source, then, you know, uh, people were going to find other devices. And you got to look at, all of these manufacturers, these companies that actually went into the space of streaming devices, that is running Google TV. There's so many of them running Google TV, and they sit back and say, hey, we're going to stop people from sideloading. I think that will hurt um, companies like Walmart, who is probably doing very, very well selling the on devices. So, I think this is good news. Give us options. You know, if you want to lock it down, fine. But at least let us opt in or, you know, that way we can still be able to sign low, whether we putting our devices at risk or what. You know, that's just, that's just my opinion. We bought the device, so it is what it is. I would love to hear from you. I would love to hear your comments. Um... If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, share this video. Also, thumbs up the video. I would love to hear what you think. Is this good news? Do you not care? What? I think this is very, very great news. I love that ATV. Shout out to ATV News by releasing this article. And um, this, is, this is some great news for the community. Because I was like, listen, if they do this, it's going to be a wrap. Okay, and maybe one of them big manufacturers was like, hey, yo, we didn't, hey, you stopping our money now. So, could have been. All right, I'd love to hear from y'all. Y'all be safe out there. I'll talk to you on the next one. Peace.